my answer. Wait, that's it? Byakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you already looked through the genocide jack file before this all happened, hadn't you? Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it! The adorable black man was behind it all! Ooh, I'm on fire! Well, Biakia, what's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask. When would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. And the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. But... why? How did you know that Chihiro was the one who died? Nothing strange about that, I'd say. On the contrary. There's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. There's a clear contradiction in what Byakuya just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. Oh, God. What? Truth flashback? What the heck? If you aim at a weak spot and hold down Y, I'll memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot as a, as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from the truth cylinder. However, you can use this flash flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or contradiction in your loaded truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your, to make your case. When's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to use your keen wits, won't you? In this case, though, I will say that if you don't use a flashback, you won't you won't be refuting anything. What? Oh my gosh! Mono Kuma file number two. So you said Biakia was acting kind of weird before we found the body. Yes. But he was acting weird. If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, you absolutely take it! That's a natural reaction for any guy! No, it's not! The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So, of course, I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? I wish you'd taken me with you. Hearing Byakuya's comment about Chihiro being a girl, I realized there, there's, there's a clear contradiction there. Wait. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. But he was acting weird... How? If you're presented with the opportunity... That's a natural reaction! The victim was Chihiro. No, it's wrong! I'll tell you what's so strange about that. Because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead, show us.
I've got him cornered, but he's acting like it has nothing to do What's with him. You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think. There is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Oh? Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? Differences between this case and other Genocide Jack murders. The evidence that proves Bianca is responsible is hidden in there. What could it be? was some kind of rope, was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Yes, you have. No, it's wrong. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Because, you see, that rope, or should I say, that extension cord? What? An extension cord? Yakuya, you've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? He's doing it again. He's totally calm and totally unconcerned. And he's not even involved. What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biapi is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. He kept calling this a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Um... Sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk about this a little more. Really? Do we really need to? We've already decided who did it. I know, but still, there's something that's still bothering you. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Something's not right? <sighs> Chihiro's body was definitely found in the girl's argument, but does that mean... Can I really accept what Byakuya said, uh, Byakuya said was, is, as the truth? No, I don't think so. There's definitely something off about what he said. Scene of the crime, extension cord. I got it! You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. Okay. She was found dead in the girls' locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Maybe she was somewhere else at where she died, and then somewhere, and then the killer took her and hanged her. Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later. I think it's possible. I buy it. Along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. I believe I do. 
Did I just take you off guard? When the story suddenly moved to the crime scene, Byaka, who'd been so confident up till now, maybe Byaka never even realized that the, the actual scene could have been somewhere else. Hey, don't just move on without permission! What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. There was something that was switched between the boys and the girls' locker room. That's right, the posters! Where is- where are they? I got it! The proof that she was killed somewhere else is... the poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was... a picture of a big boobed supermodel. But don't you think that's kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> Meanwhile, the boys' locker room had... a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. And that wasn't there before. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys' locker room. So you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sakura? You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. No, it's not that the stain was scrubbed away. It was moved. Oh yeah! This, right? I got it! The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? It has to be. But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? To hide the evidence, right? Huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? To get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e-handbook across the card reader device. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way! And I can tell you what it was! I highly doubt that. Shut up! I'm telling you! I know how she could have done it! Is she right? Could Chihiro really have gotten in the boys' locker room somehow? Broken E handbook! Is it really possible? Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah! I've got it! She must have packed her E handbook! No, impossible! Wait, really? That's Is not it? Really it? Possible? Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah, I've got it! She must have packed her E handbook! She was the ultimate programmer after all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. Well, then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Plus, isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? 
Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. See ya, yup, yup. Hit the nail square on the noggin. Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked her, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst. You can't fix an e-handbook. The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring. So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Maybe Mr. Nyagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess I'm wrong? So. I'm just straight up wrong? Okay then, I vote for Byakuya! Hold on a second. I agree with you though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So... Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait. Just what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. Recess? For real? Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? We headed off with Kyoko in the lead and she took us wh where she took us with.